To the first ever podcast for Press Start to Play. My name's Christina. To my right is G. G. And to my left, Brian. All right. And so this is going to be our test run, but pretty much our first podcast. Um, we're going to start off by discussing what we've played in the last month or two since we kind of haven't actually <clears> talked <throat> about it yet. So, first off, we're going to talk about Rayman. Um, Rayman Legends came out for. Uh, all the systems, including the Vita. And, and the Wii U, which was originally the, a exclusive. All the systems. I don't think it came out for 3DS. <laughs> no. It came uh, out for the Wii U, but that's the all system. Okay. I just said Vita is a handheld. Right, right, yeah. But generally... So Rayman Legends came out for <laughs> all the systems, including one handheld, the PS Vita. Uh, me and Brian have both played it and beat it. And uh, what did you think, Brian? It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Um... Level design is sweet. How do you compare to Origins? Uh, I like it a little better. Uh, Origins was a good good way to kick off the series from uh, being dead for a while. Yeah, it felt like a reboot mm -hmm. thinking about it. I thought Orange was, was harder. I didn't really think it was harder. I thought they were both about the same. Um, More levels. The yeah, Well, some of the levels, though, are just remakes of Origins levels, basically. Mm -hmm. So it just... But Origins had more levels, I felt like, than mm, I don't think Legends. So. Which I think system did you guys play it on? I played it on Vita. I played it on both Vita and Wii U. Well, Vita, well, I think, doesn't have a lot of the levels or something. They Vita is same. missing yeah, um, yeah, uh, a small grouping of like time trial levels, and yeah. they're supposed to uh, put them in with a patch eventually. I see. But I heard the Wii U is more of the definite. You know, I mean, I only played co-op on the Wii U. It was pretty sweet. Um, one person played on the gamepad is the little fly. Um, Murphy? Is that how is his yeah, name? Yeah, Murphy. Murphy. Murphy it's you. They were the fly, and they would, like, touch everything and make sure, you know, I get double the points, and then I was Rayman. So that was cool. And then me and Brian played online, which was okay. Yeah. Um, it was a little bit laggy. A little laggy. Uh, it's the same thing with the Vita. I mean, one player is the main character, and one player is Murphy. Yeah, so. but it was harder to play on the Vita. Even I think I didn't we play fine. ad hoc? Uh, I think we played online actually. Yeah. How long did you guys think it took to get? Uh, probably took me. Like I only played it like, you know, during lunch at work. So <laughs> probably took me about two weeks maybe to finish it all. Probably the same. No, in terms of hours, like was it? No, was it, I don't know. Probably hours, a ten hour game or something. I'd say it's between ten to fifteen hours depending on skill level. Yeah, yeah. I'd agree. Uh, some of the, lo the the levels at the end are very difficult. <laughs> yeah, the ones <laughs> the that you music, unlock the very last, the last set of levels. Yeah, well, I played a demo early um, earlier this year, I think, and I think one of the things I liked about it was the, the musical levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is yeah. one musical level for each stage, and then um, at the very <laughs> end, you get to play through one brand new music level, and then you get to play through every one of the music levels in an 8-bit remix. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Those Just are the cool. hard ones, though. They are very hard because they do little things to screw with you. <laughs> like, mind, okay, so basically. you're playing, yeah, and you're an actual, it's like 8-bit, but it's fuzzy. And it gets fuzzier as you're playing. So, you like, fuzzy by meaning, like, you could see Rayman, but not really. And then by the end, like, he's just, like, blurred in with the rest right. of the pixels. It basically becomes, like, you know, pixelated millions of pixels to, yeah. like, being one. When you look like a little pong block <laughs> so running super around. super hard. So it gets kind of difficult. Because you don't really remember what's going on, so um, but that's fun. And then there was a, the last level actually is pretty crazy because um, it shows you in a little screen, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> it gets there's like a hundred little screens on the yeah. screen, right. and you have to just pay attention to like one little block to try to get through it. It's, it's really pretty crazy. hard. I wanted to throw my Vita, and I've never <laughs> wanted to throw my Vita, but that was one of those moments. I never yeah, I didn't mean to check it out because I really like the demo, and you know, for the Wii U, I think it's. 
better in terms of controlling yeah. your little guy. It's cool if guy. you could play with someone, think, though. Because um, it was easier on my Wii U. Like, I, I really pretty, felt like it was yeah. easier, even when I was playing by myself. But it's really more so, I feel like, co-op or, like, based when you play your Wii U. It, it's sense. not as much single player. Well, I thought the, um, the Vita one works probably just as well as the Wii U because of the touchscreen. <laughs> they both have touchscreen capabilities, so. Right. I, I I don't know. I thought it played better only because I played both. So <laughs> that was my own. I personal. only played the one. And I, they, I've heard from what other people are saying the Vita one and the Wii U one are the best too. Oh. All right. All right. So. So you guys would recommend it pretty much. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. No, it's it's if a must like have Origins, this year. If you like Origins, definitely get. Or if you like Legends. Even if you haven't played Origins, I'd say buy Rayman if you've been interested. Rayman Legends is great. It's or if you like good. platformers, you know, yeah. run, cool. jump, float. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. And the graphics and the, the music are yeah. just fantastic. Yeah, definitely. What so, have you guys been playing? Everyone here has played GTA Five, <laughs> and that's our next game. Really, we're going with GTA Five. GTA right Five. Now? GTA Five. You just sure. you just kind of talked about it earlier. Well, everybody's so. been playing it anyway. I so. know. So let's. What, what do you think of it? I just G? want to talk about it from a you know. Don't ruin anything because I haven't. Played exactly. It. Now I want to talk from a played, from a certain perspective. You've because, played more than I have. Yeah. Really? This guy's all like thug. G's all like, this is like real life GTA. <laughs> like <laughs> the thing is about GTA, but is um, first off, I was mentioning earlier about you know time from a certain perspective, and mm. the thing is, I am never, I was never huge into GTA Five. Yeah. Or G, no, I guess just Grand Theft Auto generally. So what made you want to buy this one then? Because people wanted... have been saying like, yeah, you know, great reviews and everything. Plus. Yeah. It, I could use a sort of sandbox yeah. C game. You felt you felt like you wanted to be on the south side of Chicago, but like in your game, so you weren't really going to get shot up. Like, what? <laughs> Talk about it. anyway. It. So you know, it was. Um, That's why I bought it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so there's like there's like a really big hype for this yeah. game. So when I tried it myself, I mean, I was blown away. And yeah. It's not just you know the gameplay generally did because you, did you, you know, play online? Um. For a bit, yeah, okay. but generally I was just playing for the story because. Do you think the story is better it's, than yeah, the Yeah, it's line? amazing. Like the story, uh, there's just something about it that just makes me, you know. I like the, the, the three screen. characters. Thing. Yeah, that's the, I think the, right, the you biggest know. pull for me for the Which game. Which character do you is like? The three character thing. Um, I'd go to Franklin. I mm. would say my favorite. So he's like the middle guy. Trevor. Well, Trevor. everybody likes Trevor. I know Dang. everyone likes him, but. I've I've only gotten until where Trevor gets back into the city. Both for my oh man, you're you're like still far away. There's all so I it says like enjoy it. It's twenty like percent of the game. Yeah, so, yeah. Far, so. I, I'm gonna have to go with Brian. So yeah, it's a really. I mean, okay, so the story was good, and also the missions themselves. They don't feel like you're doing the same shit over again. Yeah. You know, there's like I, some my only small it. problem was like when I would you know you'd want to look for another story mission and some of them like in the beginning it was very like delayed so i'd be like running around for a while i'm like what what, what am i supposed to do now what are you talking about? i mean that, i didn't find any delay in any funny i i did i, I was really? playing with someone else yeah and i just like was for a while I was you know what around. online or the story story i had other friends that felt the same way you play 360 or yeah but i don't think that matters because ps3 i heard now unless like i'm supposed to be doing other stuff whatever. beforehand i don't know i was just waiting for i for... actually heard that the xbox version is the better version. okay, okay guys. We're not going there. anyway let's so... not argue about this i'm talking about simple graphics things. Or not what? graphics i'm talking about um what do you call it draw distance things okay. like okay that. okay okay but generally I, mean, I generally i don't care what system you <laughs> play it on i'm just saying if you want to have that specific argument yeah but anyway it, as, a, as somebody who doesn't really play gd games you liked and, it yeah and somebody who likes japanese rpgs and no, japanese no. games generally for something you know yeah. dude who likes yeah something like this it's did you play amazing. online yeah. at all no i haven't played no, it. i haven't played it in a while i actually. joined a bunch of games yeah. but i didn't um, actually do but, anything um, i don't know i just liked my favorite part of the game that i played so far was the introduction of michael franklin Okay. I thought that was probably one of the most well done things in a GTA game in a while. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, so more, do you actually. think? Every... <laughs> I know. Well, I haven't seen Trevor get. Into uh, do you guys think? Else, do you so. think that it, even if someone hasn't played a GTA, that this game they should? Pick yeah, it they up? should. They really should. There's it's, something it's, about it's. I would say depending on who the person is. Okay. No, no. I mean, the story is very relevant to today's issues. Right. Think about but it. it's also very violent, very True, mature. But, right, right. Hey, I went to the strip club. I don't know. I but for somebody, club, yes. you know, if you're curious to check out what's yeah. all this Grand Theft Auto business is all yeah. about, you know, so do you, th you recommend? I would re highly recommend it. Highly. Oh recommend. yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. It's good. 
it's fun. It's just basically fun, yeah. and it doesn't feel like the old ones in the sense where if you cause a lot of chaos, it's hard to get away from the police sometimes, and I feel in this one it's I was, kind of I, easier to get yeah, away from Yeah, I felt like it was easy, too. I will agree with you there. You can actually park mm -hmm. in an alley, and you know, they, have, find they you. have cones of vision where they will yeah. s notice you, and if you're not in that cone, you can just sit there, and then yeah. your stars will go away. It was and the kind old of ones, you can park in an alley. you got to get away from them. <laughs> you can drive <laughs> a yeah. mile. In my experience, I have actually been... Quite a chase. Really? Yeah. I've gotten lucky. So, I park an alley like Brian and get out. Get out. It really it depends, I I've guess. I've got away from him very easily on four stars. But for me, yeah, that doesn't really distract the whole experience, you know. It's it's it you know, it's a, a lot of people just like to blow stuff up in that game. It yeah. Just cause chaos. True. And sometimes you cause chaos by accident when you're doing the mission and then it screws up your mission. And I think another one of the greatest things they added is checkpoints to missions. Right, game. yeah, right. That's another thing that they didn't have in the to old one. To me, ones the whole yeah. the whole traffic thing you guys are doing. I mean, it's not. It was just a middle of the thing. It's more of the activities you could do in, you know, San Andreas. Well, some generally. of them are cheesy. The, the first activity, <laughs> frankly, is boring. Yeah. So. Well, okay. you know, like mountain bikes and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yeah. It's, so, but you think people should buy this game, right? Yeah. No matter definitely. what. I'm having a hard time actually deciding which is my favorite game for this year you know, between that. So you played Beyond, though, right? Bioshock Infinite and Mass Effect. You yes, played Beyond. I played Beyond. So, tell us about Beyond, G. Uh, well, it's from the guy who made Heavy Rain, mm -hmm. David Cage. So it's essentially a movie slash video game where you're controlling Ellen Page. Okay. Um, story's interesting. I don't want to spoil everybody because how the game plays is actually not sequential. You know, okay. you play scene... Six I've heard scene, very mixed reviews. One. You know what I mean? Sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, mixed reviews. I think the reason why people are giving it so low is because it's actually just a movie and you're playing Ellen Page. Mm -hmm. That's what this is about. You know, it's not like Heavy Rain where it felt like you're solving a case and there are like different endings and stuff like that with different characters. Okay. Um, not with this one. It's more of a straightforward story about just Ellen Page's character. You know, it's really interesting too because she controls, you know, a ghost like since birth or something and. Do you think yeah. it's worth the price that it's at right now? Or no. Do people should in wait? fact, <laughs> since I am a dedicated sort of cheap-ass gamer, <laughs> um, you know, Redbox, yeah. if you guys can find a Redbox. Is it a short there. game? Is it long? It's pretty short. I think, you know, you could finish it within like a day or so. But it's good. You just think that it's, it's an not... Experience. Yeah, it's quite an experience, actually. Yeah. yeah. I'd definitely give it a rental. Okay. A solid rental. That's good. But if you get, you know, if you're a fan of Ellen Page, It's good guess, that you're honest. <laughs> yeah. If well, you're, you know, fan of Ellen Page generally, and you can wait or for, wait like, for PS Plus to be have it for free. PS or Plus, I, I don't know because to me the game just looks really beautiful, like okay. in terms of visuals. Like there's something about the engine compared David to Cage Heavy Rain, though. Do you think that Heavy Rain is is still like a better game, or um, do you think? It, yeah, does it? Does it? I guess what I'm trying to say is, does it actually own up to the hype of what Heavy Rain was? Oh, well, the thing is about Heavy Rain for me, it was more of the game in terms of comparing both. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about just how, you know, playing a game generally, I think Heavy Rain's the better game. Okay. But story, though, because Heavy Rain was sort of just your typical, what do you call it? Murder mystery? Yeah, you know, kind of like the Zodiac Killer or whatever. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, you know, you've seen those couple, like, show or movies and stuff. Not with Beyond, in my opinion. I think it felt interesting because, well, you know, kind of like it felt like an original story. Yeah, I was going to mention Akira, you know, sort of, oh, okay. yeah, kind of like a psychological sort of, you know, being. Yeah, so there's that angle to it. So it's so, a rental. Yeah. Okay. But if you really like Ellen Page, it's it's a must buy because, well, I'm a fan of her work. <laughs> yeah, no, me too. Yeah. I, I have and a crush every on her. <laughs> I have a crush on Ellen Page. <laughs> every scene she's in, or every scene in the game you're playing, she's yeah. wearing different clothes, different hairstyles. It's just, you know, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Know, How is uh, William yeah. Defoe in the game? Oh, pretty, you know, he's, he's William Defoe. <laughs> okay. Being that guy. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. All right. So, so Beyond is a rental. Everyone that yeah. needs to go get it, you could probably just rent it and be happy with it. Right. Okay. I'll just buy it. Or wait for the price drop. Yeah. 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 That's what I usually do. So Wind Waker. No one here but me has played. And I just want to say just a really yeah, brief... Yeah, because it's for a machine. That, oh, yeah. My really brief... Alive, right? The Wii U. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my really brief... <laughs> I just uh, bought one. I yeah. think it's pretty cool, actually. It is a cool system. But the Wind Waker uh, game itself, I think, is a really good buy if you want to play a remake um something that i thought was interesting is yeah, you finished the game before right during when it came out in gamecube 
I played a little bit of it. I didn't finish it. Oh, okay. But I, I can I can actually compare it, and I do I think... I beat the game through that. Yeah, but he hasn't played it yet. But anyways, so <laughs> I think that um, the cool thing is it's online, mm -hmm. so you get the little tingle bottles, and they're all over the ocean, so I'll just be, like, going to wherever I need to go, and I can collect, like, 15 tingle bottles from random people across the, you know, world, and they have photos which actually help with their figurine collection. Mm. So it's kind of helpful in that sense because I know that before... just for this game? Mm-hmm. Because okay. before, you know, the other one was online, but, you know, it, it the tingle bottles... So it's kind of like Dark They were Souls with the, advent, the game... Ad the, That's kind of interesting way to put it. Yeah, it, yeah. Give tips a and good stuff. way to put it. Yeah, so like, but the the bottles before it was Game Boy Advanced, right? Because uh, I never uh, used it. Uh, not really. I didn't really use it. They didn't do anything. Are you talking about the Game Boy Advance connected with? You know, yeah, with the tingle bottle. They didn't do yeah. that with that game. I know that it was in the guide because I was I have a GameCube guide, so I did do like read on that before okay. I was. So I, I never used it, so I don't know, but I do know it's kind of cool to have, like, random people. I find a bottle, and it's got a, a photo, <laughs> and I go straight to the guy, and I have... And you... Oh, you don't have to do one, like, photo every day. It's like, you can just keep giving them photos, and then 24 hours... Not really 24 hours, but quote-unquote 24 hours in the game, which is just a whole day. Then I've got, like, you know, 12, 15 figurines. I don't have to wait for, like, one or two or whatever they are. Okay. So it was kind of cool. Everything else is really neat. Like, the controls work really well. It looks really great graphically. I, I think it's worth it if you haven't played it. I think it's worth it if you have. So that's what I, I think you should buy it. I don't think it's a rental. I think it's worth it. <laughs> that's <laughs> okay, what I yeah. think. I think I downloaded it. That's yeah. about as far well, because you got the, the actual Wind the Waker version, and so Wii did I. I don't know. System. Somebody owns a Wii U who hasn't been playing it much. You should probably buy it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but what. there's a game called Mario... 3D World is well, coming you can up. wait for That's that. You can get Wonderful weeks. 101. You need to start... It comes out the 22nd, yeah. the same day as the Xbox One. Yeah. That's which is kind of goofy. So, Brian, you've played the Star Wars pinball uh, tables. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have. What do you think of those? They're uh, awesome. Because I'm a Star Wars geek, so I love them. Mm -hmm. um, there's three tables total in the new pack. I played it on PS3 and Vita. Um, mm -hmm. Three tables are the uh, Return of the Jedi... Uh, Darth Vader, and then there's a like X Wing TIE Fighter okay. table. I forget what it's called. I think it's Starfighter Assault, maybe, or Starfighter Pinball. So this is something. a free one, right? It's not free. These were 10 bucks off the market. Because there was a PSN. PlayStation Plus free. Uh... That was for the previous three tables. Okay. So these are the new ones. They just released them, I think, two weeks ago on Wednesday. All right. I tried. I tried them. They're, they're fun. I like I the like, Star um, Wars pinball table. The Vader one is probably my favorite, just because I'm a Vader nerd. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but um, the sound and everything is really good in the Vader table. There's a lot of cool missions you can do. Um, graphically, the tables look great. The physics, I think, are pretty spot on for the pinball FX or Zen pinball games. Um, I think they have the best pinball physics out there. Yeah. Um, even though that's not kind of realistic, um, it's still I just think it's yeah. pretty solid. Cool. So it's a, definitely a good buy. It's good because it's cross buy. So mm -hmm. if you buy it for PS3 and you have a Vita, you get it free for the Vita. And the other ones were free uh, um, on the Vita, the, right? The other ones are still free on okay. PSN. If you're a PS Plus, you can get the first three tables for both, I think, Vita and PS3 for yeah. free. Yeah, that's cool. That's so cool. Kind of cross play, cross buy. So if you're a Star Wars fan, it's, it's a good deal. If you're a Star Wars fan and if you're a pinball fan, definitely it's a good yeah. deal. Um, yeah, the, the Zen guys do the best with the pinball games. I have. All of them, almost. For both Xbox, PS3, and Vita. Yeah. So, uh, Killzone came out uh, a few weeks ago, and you bought that for your Vita, right, Brian? Killzone. Which came out in September. It was yeah. Like, it was a few weeks ago. Almost a month ago. ago. Yeah. I heard good things about that. What did you think of it? Um, it's actually a showpiece, I think, for the Vita, in yeah. all honesty. Um, the graphics are really good. I was surprised at how good they looked on the screen. I'll agree. I, I think I saw yours, and I had to buy How's it. How's the weight, in terms of being Killzone? It okay. feels like Killzone. Okay. It definitely feels like Killzone. Um, it's not going to be like the new game, which they're trying um, for, no, even for a less weighty feel You know, to it. there's different things. There's In this game, you're playing Mercenary, so um, you're basically doing missions, and mm -hmm. when you do missions, you get credit. Yeah. And with that credit, you can use uh, buy the credit cool to shit. buy upgrades for your armor, your guns, right. or purchase guns. Um, you can purchase, uh, I forget what they're called. Armor side and effects on like a little robot or um, right. it's like a special kind of like a special little thing that you got to charge up after getting kills to, in order to use it 
But you know, the armor helps us with weight, though. Uh -huh. There's effects mm -hmm. for weight of the different kind of armors you're using. Yeah. Um, the gun gunplay feels good. It actually. What did you think of the story so far? I've only played the first three missions, and it's you know, for what it is, it's pretty good. I agree. Um, it's not, you know, it's nothing. And I never thought Killzone was the greatest story. I just thought the graphics were really good. It looks, always looked good. It yeah. played well. Um, we both played online together. Um, yeah, um, I played all three modes, Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, and um, you were rocking Warzone. It. Uh, I've come in first place a couple times, yeah. Yeah, it, um, it was fun, though. It's I thought fun. it was good. Um, there's uh, the maps. I know they did a patch recently and updated the, um, the spawning points because I feel there's a lot of spawn killing yeah here and there not a lot but you know there's only eight player multiplayer so and the but maps it's, it's aren't fun. huge what was the one match they were playing we we kept getting thrown on separate teams and there was like actual we got separate teams every time we played but there was the one where it was actual like like things you had to do that's i think war zone yeah um there's basically five different objectives and I was stuck on the team where no one so, knew what they were doing but there's, me. Yeah, there's, there's times we play it like an objective-based match where people don't know what they're doing. They just yeah. kill people. But the objectives are pretty simple. You have to get stealth kills. Um, you have to... Uh, well, you got to download that thing. No, you have to decrypt. There you go. Decrypt the pods or whatever they're called. Um, uh, there's just kills in general. You know, whoever gets the most kills during the time limit. And I think there was one more, too. Yeah, but it was fun though. I There's thought it. Five different. Types. We've played a lot of games on our Vita together, and and graphically, like okay, we played Unit Thirteen. Um, there were some other games online that me and you have played, but I, I personally, played, I thought personally, Killzone this was is really the good. Best online yeah. game I've played for Vita. That's I how I feel. Unit Thirteen and why it's fun. It's it's all right. It, I played. It wasn't as good as this. This was actually really yeah, good. Yeah, Unit Thirteen. I played know. Resistance, uh, Burning was, Skies, that was out. awful. <laughs> that was terrible. I think, didn't I borrow, did I borrow it to you? Then you were no, just, I, yeah, the Resistance. I bought, it, yeah, yeah, I, I bought Resistance and sold it the next day. I beat it in like a few hours. I was like, this is the worst game ever. Oh, I borrowed it to my buddy Adam, and then he bought the online pass so he could still get the last trophy. Yeah, <laughs> like, that game was bad. I bought the game for 20 bucks, and I think I got rid of it. A couple of days later for 16. So I was yeah. pretty happy. It was just like a rental. Yeah. <laughs> it, but it the really online, was. see, the, the thing I saw with Vita recently is that most of the games, I think the online play has been pretty laggy or shady. It's not very good. And Killzone, I think, was the first game where yeah. they got everything right. I yes. think this game's actually worth, like, buying. Like, if you want to play online with your friends or something, like, even just, it's worth it. There's so much in there, content-wise. I, I, I do think it's Worth I don't time. know how much there is content wise. It depends on who you are. I mean, I'm sure someone can beat that game stuff. pretty, pretty quickly if they. Really I can't. To. I have too many other things to do. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, I only played three. I think there's eleven or ten levels. I only played like three. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, it's a level by level thing too. It's every mission is different. Yeah. So. So Diablo. The console version. Diablo, we've <laughs> yes. all played. Um, I think G probably played it on PS3. It doesn't matter, though. Um, Still good. But what did everyone think of Diablo? Uh, well, I, I was generally surprised because it just worked mm -hmm. as a, from a PC, you know, point and click thing set up and then playing it on, the, uh, on a gamepad just felt nice. Mm -hmm. the, the, was it World Mechanic? Did anyone here mm -hmm. play on PC? No, because of the old stupid online bullshit. I did play on PC. Okay. I, I would, the only thing that I would say is just the graphics are different, for sure. Like, I'm not normally... I'm not a graphic Nazi when it comes to PC versus console, because I, I, I'm a console person, right. but I do play Blizzard games on the PC, and I will say the graphics are different. Right. But oh, it, it was better. playing yeah. on on the console, it was dumbed down, but it's still... The controls and everything worked out, and yeah. I have more friends playing It, it makes sense, because you can't really put high-res stuff yeah. yet. I mean, that's why there's going to be a PS4 version, which I think includes the expansion pack. Mm. Yeah, which yeah. makes me kind of sad because you know. I would you think about most? Diablo three? I think you would play more. So I I haven't played the most, but I played a lot of it. I like it. I it's caught up to him and then I beat him. Yeah, she's past me because I just I've been switching between Diablo. Well, there's and too many games. Like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Which class are you guys using? I am using the sorcerer. I think the chick what chick did wizard. I pick? Crap, I don't remember <laughs> right now. What what are the classes again? There's a demon hunter. Demon hunter. There's a wizard, sorcerer, monk, uh, uh, monk, and I a I did berserker. Monk. I did monk. I think right. Is that yeah. what I did? I think so. <laughs> She's a monk. 
I think so. I've okay. seen um, the Berserker, the uh, Sorceress, because that's who I'm using, right. the Monk, and the um, Demon Hunter. So I've seen right. everybody play every class. Yeah. Every class is different. But there's only... some cool, but there's some cool moves. It's for you know, as you progress by level, you get cooler stuff. Like his his character's awesome. Like I totally would have chosen his. Oh, but, yeah, definitely it's yeah. But then my character started to actually get pretty sweet too. Like by seventeen, I was doing stuff he was doing. You know, like so it's right. it's fun. It it was easier to level. I felt like in the council. I don't know why. Hmm. Well, it's because they had you know you see they have a store. And what did you think stuff. for the little pit that you played it? Did you like it? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said earlier, for me. Um, being from a point and click thing, mm -hmm. you're moving into controller. It just felt really good playing yeah. the whole I think loop they map, stuff. Yeah, and they just, map the buttons really well. Yeah, there's just something about it. it. Just feels great. Yeah. Compared to you know, I think I, think I don't want to go back anymore to the whole old setup because how's the loading felt time on the PlayStation version? Well, it was only a demo, so can't comment on that. But well, even with the was demo, though, because I mean, the load time? yeah, it was, it was pretty fast. I think are Super fast, yeah, which was I was yeah. impressed with. In fact, now that you mentioned, it, I don't think there were any little times. I that's good. You know, yeah, it's just like, probably just a bit like you know two mm -hmm, seconds or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it didn't, no, I was expecting no. with games <laughs> like Dungeon Crawlers, I always expect a long yeah because time it's a, because you got to load a whole <laughs> arena and it was really yeah. Fast. They're gonna so you guys think it's dungeon. worth buying? Oh, not definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, if you like that genre, yeah. yeah. Dungeon Crawlers, unless cool. you don't, you know, you're getting a PlayStation Four. And you're still one of those guys who are still playing. I wish they playing. would do the upgrade. Like, they are for some other games. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. But, like, um, if you don't have the game yet and you're getting a PS4, I think you should wait. I don't think they're going to do the upgrade because they're yeah. going to put the expansion with it. Okay. So you're yeah. kind of paying for a bonus with the expansion and stuff. Exactly. So, so for those guys, I mean, so I'm personally waiting. So it's worth it, but you can wait if you're getting a new system is what I'm hearing. Yeah. <laughs> well, buy it then. Unless you really want to play it right now yeah. and you're not playing Grand Theft Auto Five, then yeah. yes. <laughs> I'm playing both. I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, and come on, there's a lot of games coming out Oh, yeah, soon. there's so many. So if you can wait, I mean, Diablo 3, yeah. come on. It's going to eat your time, probably, when you play it this time. Pokemon came out, like, literally, like, like, like what was it, a okay. week ago? Was it a week That's ago? Uh, it ago. came out, uh, I think, like a week ago. Yeah. It came out recently, and yeah. it's... On a and you Saturday haven't played it, but you probably will. I, mean, I, I, don't have, I don't have a 3DS, so... Can't I got like X. That, but I know everybody's so busy yeah. with it. Well, me and Brian yeah. got X, but I also play Animal Crossing, so I'm kind of having a hard time playing Pokemon. But Brian's played more of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's And fun. he's really enjoying it. Do you have anything to say about it? Um, I'm sure you it's do. It's just, overall, it's fun. Um, I like the graphics, the mm -hmm. new system. It looks clean. Yeah. Nice. Um, I've, so far, I've only gotten to the second gym leader, and I've caught a lot of Pokemon. Me too. I know some people that have played and beat it already, and I already <laughs> caught God. more Pokemon. Really? Yeah, but did, I've caught did our more friend, Pokemon than they have. Did our one friend all. beat it? That, no, no, not yet. She's like me. She's um, Veronica, right? Collecting Pokemon like crazy. Yeah. So She's that's kind of all I do is just walk around in the grass and fight. Or run away, depending if it's a new Pokemon or not. That's... But she's a huge Pokemon fan. Yeah, but overall, it's good. Um, the one disappointment I think I have with it is the if you turn on the 3D, the frame rate is god awful. Okay, I don't like using my 3D. The only game I really used it for was like the Mario games to collect the coins because they were in hidden areas. But I don't like I, the 3D. I think actually on a light setting, the 3D on the 3DS works well with okay. some some games, and but not this I was one. really disappointed that it was. If you put the 3D on, just try it once. Put mm -hmm. the 3D on and play a battle. You'll see the frame rate drop completely. See, I haven't played since like Diamond and Pearl. probably 20 frames a second. Yeah. It's really awful. Well, I haven't yeah. played since Diamond and Pearl, so there was a lot of changes for me personally, and I don't know if those were in like the other games. Because um, the other games were on DS. This is the first 3DS Pokemon, right? It's also the first, you know, it's graphically. Probably yeah. graphically the first kind of. 3D model yeah. Pokemon. It's not I mean, for me, it looked different, and then but... they had like little mini games and stuff, and I don't know if that was in the last one or the but one just before, visually, you know, before Diamond of... and, and Pearl. But I, I, you've played well. Visually, the old games have been all. 2D. But did you play? Yeah. Did you play White and Black? Right. I played Pokemon, games. but I don't know when the last one that was. But were all those mini games in there? There's always little stuff like where I'm do. like, I mean, playing with my Pokemon, like I'm. Like, I yeah, I don't care about. I know, but that was that <laughs> in. No, I don't think it was. I think, I think it's that's new, to this. new, which isn't bad. I guess it's like you're if 
a small kid was like wanting to play with a Tamagotchi. Like that's what that is to me. <laughs> I don't have any. I was gonna mention to about pet my Pokemon. I know, but okay. that's what that is. That's like a nineties Tamagotchi. I think it's a waste of time. It well, okay, <laughs> but but it's in there and it's part of the I game. I would like just to com- I mean comment on the the graphics. In terms the graphics of, are great. Yeah, the Pokemon's themselves. They actually yeah. animate now. Pretty it looks cool. pretty sweet. The animation's so, good. The animations will... are good. Characters are good. Um, I've caught. I don't know. I've got. Two boxes full, I think, mm-hmm. almost Pokemon already. Me it's too. pretty wild. <laughs> um, another cool thing, I don't know if you don't know, but certain Pokemon need to be traded in order for them to evolve, mm-hmm. which is new, I think, in this game. It's okay, we of. can trade. No problem. I've already done it with somebody else. Oh, I see so. how this is. Hey, man. I needed <laughs> to get my Pokemon evolved, man. So I just oh. did it. So this game is just killing everybody's time, man. It's it's <laughs> worth it if you're either a Pokemon fan or someone that's been because I haven't played in a long time, so I was interested in it. I I think it's worth it. Like this one, if you have a 3DS, is worth it. I I, I go by this thing. My portable gaming always happens during my lunch hour at work. Mm-hmm. So something simple like this is easy to play for 40 minutes during my lunch hour and just mess around, catch a couple Pokemon, and right. then I'm done. Yeah. So I I like it that way, and I like. The fact that you can save anywhere, which I think oh, is yeah. a great feature as well. That is a really good feature. I don't feature. know if it was in the old games, because it's been a while since I played one, honestly. But save anywhere is fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> that is one of my favorites. Right. So we think it's a buy. X and Y, go buy one. Um, yeah. And they patched it, too. There was a glitch in Luminous City. If you saved in the city, you could lose your, um, you could lose your progress. And they've patched it recently. So it yeah. should fix your corrupted file if you have one. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool too that they're able to do patches with these uh, these CDS games. So Batman Blackgate came out yesterday on the PS Vita. I didn't buy the other two versions, but I only played a little bit of the Vita, and I just want to touch base on it. I personally um, have already gotten to like twenty percent, and I played less than an hour. And it's graphically, you know, not as good as Killzone, but it plays nice, like for a handheld Batman. Okay. Um, How's the frame rate? Is it uh, thirty frames? I, it's, I, it's, I'm betting. It's decent. It's yeah. good. Like, I haven't had any issues or anything. So, Combat yeah. is yeah. what I'm more concerned about because it's a 2D version. Yeah. Or two, it's, 2D, 3D it's background. 2.5. Kind of it's yeah, different 2.5 from D. the, the console because I played the other two games. I love the other two games. Yeah, me yeah, like, too. Like I mentioned earlier, it's a Metroidvania, meaning you're some, there are some, some labyrinth. I would say, okay, so I guess if we're going to talk stuff. about that, like when you're trying to, like, you remove, like, these vent grates and then you have to climb in them. Mm-hmm. You can't face the grate, so I would like walk by it for a while before I can press the button and hold for it to a- he actually go in it. Like I was having some issues with that. Like that, you can't turn towards it. You have to like press the button at a certain point. Yeah, but that makes if sense, you so. even walk like two inches away, you have to do it. You know, but that's the only problem I was having so far. But it's good. I, I recommend it if you have a Vita. How I don't know. How much has been in what you played so far? That I'd say not a lot. So that's why I was bored. I think too is there's I was just like. And it, I don't know, I was just walking through it, and then there would be, like, a few people, and then I'm just, like, trying to go through. And it's easy. There's a map, so there's and there's only okay. one way to go, so it's like not like I'm getting well, lost. No, I mean, there's stuff that you can open up Yeah, I've future, already, so. I But, I like I said, I played 20% in less than an hour, and I there wasn't that much combat. I feel like there should be more. Hmm. 20% in less than an hour sounds kind of goofy, but I heard it's a good, kind of good amount of time. And I'm only it. in the first part. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe you beat just 20% of the first part. No, it's my game <laughs> save. It says 20% you guys like game big save. Batman fans? Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty big on Batman. Batman is one of my <laughs> favorites. Batman. So I kind of actually... Because I was really looking forward to this game and also the, the console one. Because it wasn't, you know, made by Rocksteady Studio. Was it the studio? Yeah, I yeah. guess you made the, the original... I, you know, I ordered both of them. I ordered the Vita one because I wanted to try it. I ordered the 360 one. Right. So I'm waiting for that to arrive. But um, I've heard some, you know, mixed reviews. You know, yeah. They weren't, they weren't like, like, oh, it's not the best because it's not rock steady. It's but, kind of baffling. Is, are, are people really expecting this to be a really, you know, decent? De- well, it could be a decent Batman game. I expect game, it definitely. to be totally fine. I guess Yeah, but for not me... like something to surpass Arkham City, you know? I, think... I still think Asylum is better than City. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. See, I thought, I thought, okay. Uh, I love, I love all of them. I mean, and I'm sure I'm gonna love this one too. It's, it's the um, introduction of new villains, which right. I think is really cool. Um, the Black Mask is a great character. Um, right. I've seen a small portion of a fight where Batman fights um, 
Deathstroke. Right. And it just, it's nothing like we've seen in the old games. It actually looks really cool. Yeah. See, I so, think for me with the Vita one, I, I just thought that the cutscenes, I expect like more of an Xbox PS3 kind of version. Because in Killzone, there's cutscenes like that. So I didn't really know. Uh, so you're expecting the visuals to be something. But it's like just comic different. book like yeah. cutscenes. That's what it is. It's Which is fine. I know it's a different game, but I guess for me, I was like, oh, cool. Like Batman on my Vita. And I just. I thought it would be more like that. I'm still, yeah, well, I've always been waiting for the release of console. I heard Lego Marvel's Property better. game on the Vita. Sorry, I just want to plug that out. Oh, Lego Marvel's yeah. better than <laughs> Batman, the new one? In terms of just being a fan service. Oh, well, yeah. it's Lego. I mean, Lego's a fan <laughs> service in general. I played a demo, it was fine, but the reviews have been solid lately. I'm actually curious about it. I'm I was going to buy it for um, I'm Xbox, waiting for the and I stopped, and I... I pre-ordered it for Xbox One. Hmm. So. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good game. I mean. I think it's going to be fantastic. I've already watched a little bit Exploring Marvel. Uh, what do you call it? Lego New York with certain Marvel heroes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Spider-Man swinging. Iron Man flying. I think it's going to be. That's Hulk one of the smashing. games that came out this week. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I just want to plug, plug that out. because we're, The Batman game. We're in the topic of superhero yeah. video games. So. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I want to play it. Then Sonic Lost World. and uh, Which I heard is okay. It's not, not... again, like, See, you know, I ordered the it. greatest Sonic game that everybody wants I it to be. I ordered it for 3DS before mm. I bought a Wii U. So is, I heard it was worse, though. 3ds yeah. one or the i heard they're both about the same so i think no. i'm just gonna keep the 3ds one that i ordered and i'll buy really? it i'd rather wii keep the wii u though because i don't yeah. want to pay 40 bucks for it so i'll okay. wait until it's sonic games we're talking sonic games here. i just um, like sonic the old ones, ten ones ones not yeah. really um sonic generations is like 30 bucks on gamestop yeah. you, there's been times where it's been 10 yeah bucks. well okay. not elsewhere you gotta wait for a sale mostly for that but Generally, a huge copy is like thirty bucks or twenty five. Yeah, yeah, which I, I find that. like weird. It's been two years since it came out. And anyways, so the, the <laughs> last game that came out that's not you can't even buy it physically is the Phoenix Wright game, the Duel's Destiny. Usually, you can buy a physical copy. It's only digital. I heard many great things too. I'll probably buy it eventually. Um, so for news things or just things we want to discuss, um, so <laughs> the GameStop Black Friday ad came out. Yeah, it was leaked. I'm actually, yeah, I think I posted that one. This is the, I posted the second version, so I was just excited about the Zelda, the yeah, Zelda which Link Between Two Worlds bundle. I believe bundle. It is the big deal. It like, is. Like leaky I'm really excited about that. Thingy. You are because you don't have one. I, I am because I bought all Zelda stuff. And I've been looking forward to Link to the Past. It's the sequel to Link to the Past for a while now, so getting that is going to be two-hit combo for me. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> And then you had something uh, also coming out, right? The Wii U. Oh, there's going to be a new Wii U bundle coming out um, November 1st for two ninety nine. It's going to include um, Super Mario Brothers Wii U and Luigi, uh, Super Luigi U in, with the system. So I don't know if they're download comes, uh, codes or disc-based. I um, think it's disc-based. I think it might be this yeah. based for the Super Mario. Yeah, but not the Luigi. And I think the Luigi might be a download code. Mm -hmm. So, and then um, another sense. news: two Watch Dogs and Drive Club have both been delayed. Yeah, what do you feel about that? If you guys are getting, do you think it's going to affect like the sales of the system, or no. does it not no, matter? I don't think it matters. I, I, I it don't. matters for people who are really looking forward to next gen visual yeah. sort of I, experience. I think Those games honestly, are, you, know, um, <laughs> you know, I was disappointed really that Watch too. Dogs got delayed, mm -hmm. but I kind of think I understand why it got delayed because why release two of your top properties on the same day? I get that, but at the yeah. same you got time, got Black Flag coming out. Yeah, that's gonna you, sell like crazy. Game. So why don't you delay Watch Dogs for a little bit? But not until what is it? March, spring twenty fourteen. Yes, yeah, so March. I'd rather just give it a month if it's... There's, you know, the thing you with know, the new console launch is there's a lot of game quality games coming out for this launch. Probably right. one of the best launches in a long time. Um, delaying one game, I don't think, is a big deal. People were looking forward to it. In terms I of was totally looking the forward visuals to it. and everything. So, you I know, think I something's wrong forward... with the development No, team. I was looking forward to it because it takes place in Chicago. Well, yeah, obviously. Which is pretty cool. But I think there's something going on internally with that game because if you would... Just delayed why she was because of Assassin's Creed. Like, come on, you can always push push it to December or something. Yeah, so, they want to release the best game they can. They delayed Rain Man. 
It was supposed to come out for a week. They, they, they delayed Rayman because they just wanted it for the PS3 and 360. But they added a lot of cool stuff to so, it. And it was a good... I think it was a good idea. Not for six months, bro. That's like pretty I long. Like, uh, I think a lot of people bought it, though. I think it was... there was. It didn't sell as well it as well they because It came to. out in the same week as GDA, right? Or something? It came out, I think, a week or two before. Mm. Yeah. It was like sent to so, die. So what systems are you guys going to get for the new gen consoles? Both of them. PlayStation 4. I'm sorry. Because... Um, well, Why are you sorry. <laughs> I'm getting both too. I'm gonna still get a PS4. I don't understand. I mean, Xbox One. Come on, man. Sure, yeah. Br- uh, Titanfall. Rise yeah. looks really good. Titanfall is gonna be fan. It's coming out of PS4 also in like nine Who months. Who said that? No oh, it's said only... that yet. Um, I heard stuff, man. I've heard stuff too, but it's not official. It's not Nothing official. Is official. But I will bet my ass, dude. It's like, it's like the new Mass Effect back then. Remember? I you know why I don't think it will come out on PlayStation Four? It's a very simple thing. Go, oh. because Microsoft is going to have cloud servers for this game. The dedicated three, servers. The three hundred and sixty bit. Yeah, it's not going to use cloud servers. Yes, so the three hundred and sixty. So version. it doesn't really matter. No one's going to buy the three hundred and sixty. And the thing is, that game doesn't have a story mode. If you think about it, it's yeah, only I know. a. Multiplayer. And what game? What system is a multiplayer system? Okay. Xbox. So I'm guessing if ever there's going to be like a special edition that comes with the single player content, it might be for both the Xbox One and the PS4. They're not going to release single player content. All right. Well, I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It might happen. I've heard the rumors. It might happen. And I have no problem if it comes out. So that's cool. That game sounds great. (laughs) You guys. Are you guys going to get Call of Duty or Battlefield? Because I know I'm getting Call of Duty because um, the big the big games that come out every year. And I have transferred from Call of Duty to Battlefield, but what are you are you gonna get anything, Brian? I am gonna wait for reviews. Okay. Because I am buying both systems. I wanna know what people think about frame rates, graphics, and everything on each system. It's multi platform. All three of the uh, main multi platform releases, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Assassin's Creed, I wanna see what they say which system handles it better. That's probably a smart a smart way to look at it. <laughs> Why well, both? Si- I'm gonna get both yeah. systems. Isn't it like confirmed to be 1080p on PS4? I want to know which one plays better. It's a bit... well, he just wants to know which one play like everything. The whole 1080p better. debate is something that doesn't bother. Me. Is this because of the controller? I don't get it. The controller has nothing to do with it. So, no. what do you mean in terms of how good does it play or something? I mean, in my experience, the Xbox 360 multi-platform games play better than they do on the PS3. Okay, so between the PS4 and the Xbox One, I think... I want to wait to see what they have to say about them. I'm just saying the reports, though, are based on the fact... I mean, The reports are basically, no matter which one you buy, they're going to be probably the same. Okay, because I just heard, you know, it's confirmed that Call of Duty Ghost will run on 1080p on PS4. I'm sure it will run on 1080p on Xbox. Ah, I heard it's 720p. All right. Okay. (laughs) So, but those systems come out next month, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm thinking next time anyone hears from us, we will already have tried both systems. Um, G, you can try it at one of our houses, I'm sure. So you can talk about it. coming out first, right? It it doesn't matter. By the end of November, we're going to have another podcast. They're a week apart. Yeah. 15 but we'll, for PlayStation 4, 22nd, 22nd for, for uh, Xbox One. But a month from now, we'll have a podcast where we can talk about the new system so people can. Okay. Well, yeah. See how they feel yeah. about it if they haven't decided. I just want to add, like, which PS4 exclusive are you guys getting? Um, I'm going to get Mac. And yeah. I'm getting Battlefield because oh, no, I no. have I, other fields. I was actually just between. I know. I'm just saying those are the only two games I'm getting. Killzone and. Okay. I'm getting Killzone and Mac. That's yeah. it. I, I'm debating it. And I'm going to download Resogun for free on PS. Yeah, but that's free. Yeah. Um, because I'm still debating whether... I don't know. Because I already have a shooter, which would be COD. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. And Killzone would be kind of similar to that in a way. Mm-hmm. It won't be similar at all. Cause it's have you ever played a Killzone? Military versus futuristic. It's I'm just talking about like first person generally. But oh, first person. I'm playing like another Genre, first person. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And you got Knack, which looks interesting. It's, made, you know, it's directed by Mark Cerny, the guy who made the PS4. So it should be fine. But, you know, it isn't really grabbing me. I mean, it's not grabbing me yet, so I'm waiting for reviews. But okay. it's from the Japan studio. The guys made... Uh, then I could see you buying it. Pop- Puppeteer? Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like recently. And, and Rain. And there's another game that's never going to come out. Gravity Rush. Oh, Gravity Rush is awesome. So. Yeah. You're talking about Last Guardian? Yeah, it's never going to come well, out. Well, we're not talking about that. Sorry, it's so <laughs> free work for me. So, um, <laughs> Brian, what games are you going to get on your Xbox One? Uh, Dead Rising 3, Rise, and Lego Marvel. 
And then probably I'm going to download um, Crimson Dragon and Killer Instinct. Wow. All right. You're getting everything pretty much. Yeah. Not really. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, 80% I'm, of the I'm debating on Rise and, and Dead Rise. Well, the so. other three, I haven't decided which system to buy. For yeah. Me, so. I'll right. probably get a good good amount. I don't know if I'm going to get Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, or Battlefield. Well, I haven't decided yet. But we'll tell you in a month from now what we all played. And this wraps up our first kind of sort of test podcast. Uh, you can reach me at twitter.com slash endless crowd. And as for G... Uh, twitter.com slash gzep. That's G-Z-E-P. Yeah. <laughs> and for you, Brian? I have a Twitter. Oh. Um, bye, Brian. <laughs> uh, bye, Brian. I don't fly- use it. Yeah, it's F L Y B R I O N E. There you go. All right. So, yeah, you can reach us that way. Um, we do have email addresses, but they're currently uh, having some small technical issues. But it would be our, you can go to our website, pressstarttoplay.com, P R E S S T A R T O P L A Y.com, and also facebook.com slash pressstarttoplay if you want to like us, have your friends like us. Um, listen to us. People kind of like us. Yeah, I Tell hope so. I'm Tell hoping you guys, yeah, enjoy this first podcast. Uh, we enjoy doing it. So yeah. Thank you. Peace. Goodbye.